first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, I was invited to come to, you know, to this project, to know the project better. Uh, I have been in Abu Dhabi a couple of times for competitions and or training with Sheikh Tahnoun or other things, but I never had a chance to take a deep look at the project that is running here. So that was the reason that I, I come this time, to spend the whole month talking with the coaches, understanding the project, checking the programs, to, to give them some advice based on my experience and what I did from Alliance in the last 15 years. They, they have something in common, all of them. They are hard workers, right? They are really committed with, the, with their goals. So it's one, one thing that you have to have in order to get that level. And of course, they have natural skills. They train hard. They learn the good technique. So it's, it's all combined that make these guys special. You know, but you cannot find one Michael Lang, one Lucas Lepre in every corner. So you have to have like 20,000 to pick these guys, you know. So that's, we, we come back to what I'm saying is that if you don't have a large number of students doing the right thing, it's going to be really hard for you to find the amount of good athletes, you know, that everybody wants, you know. Uh, what happened was that back in early 80s, when I started training with Jacaré, the academy was pretty small, really small academy in Panama. We started training there. I was the first black belt graduated by him, and I started my own gym. So as I started my own gym, Alexandre moved to his gym too. So he started his own students, and our students started to fight against each other in tournaments which for us, it didn't make any sense because you used to train together, we were family. I don't want to be against my master. And uh, so we decided to put everybody under the same flag. We had, we had in that time more people involved. And uh, so the first, the first uh, uh, thing was that, you know, oh, let's put everybody to fight under the same flag so we don't need to face each other before we faced the, the adversaries, you know, and, and, uh, but after that, we start to understand that Alliance is, was more than that. It was something that the people uh, were really proud of, you know, and the people really fight for it. So we start to create a brand, you know, and then when you have the brand, you need to deliver more things for your people. So we start to develop the teaching method in order to, to, to support our schools in the best way we can. Mm -hmm. So we, this makes our students better all over the world. You know? So it, now it's not, not just about my academy anymore. We have champions for different schools. Right? We have, of course, my academy. We have Marcelo's academy with amazing athletes. We have Cobrinha academy with a lot of good guys. So we have different people working the same way to keep growing the team. And uh, so that's what happened with Alliance since the beginning and till we, what we have today. Uh, actually, the, nothing happened with Leo Vieira, actually. Mm -hmm. What happened was with the guys that decided to fight in the tournament, mm -hmm. that Alliance was not participating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were not participating because we didn't agree with uh, what the other federation was trying to do. They were, they were trying to fight against the, the federation, to split the sport. And in our point of view, it wasn't the best choice. So then we decided that Alliance would not participate in that tournament. But the guys, they want to fight because they were paying some, some cash money in the end and the guy was you know uh, the guys from my academy they were Terere, Teles and Damian Leozinho was in Sao Paulo but he wasn't training that time much you know he was very uh, uh, going to my academy to train so after these guys 
you know, create the problem, uh, Leozinho was, you know, convincing them to move mm -hmm. and make another group. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. Uh, it was a big split, you know, we lost all the black belts we had. Mm -hmm. It was a really sad moment, you know, for the team. But we learned, you know, after that, we didn't lose any. Uh, we have top athletes better than the guys who were in that time, and they are happy. So we learn from that, you know, and uh, we build a team much stronger than we, we were in the past. And the guys also, you know, they, they, go, they, they went to different, different ways, you know, them and moved to UFC and he's getting, you know, good career, fine MMA. Uh, Leozinho created a check mat and uh, Braza, I think Braza is gone. That's completely left maybe and a couple of others. But they couldn't make it happen again, right? So they left the team, but they didn't build anything, you know, to the people I admire, in my point of view. Yeah, in the beginning, it was pretty awkward, you know, to, to face the guys that used to train with you every day. They used to be part of your family. They used to stay in your house, you know, and then we are completely against each other. It was really bad in the beginning. But then you just get used to it, you know, and we have a different goals. I don't even think about them. You know, I have a lot of things to, t to take care, you know, and, and support my guys and give the best to my students. So, uh, after a little while, you know, we stopped thinking about that, you know, and we just kept moving. The guys to reach that top level, uh, as I said, has a lot of talent involved, hard work involved, commitment involved, but then comes to confidence, comes to something that goes beyond the technique, that's inside them. Is, so you, you, you have to give them some tools to deal with it because the pressure is really big. So the guys must believe in themselves more than anything. When you go out there to fight with that confidence, the technique is going to say if you want to win or you're going to lose. Right? But if you go without confidence, there is no technique that's going to make you win. Uh, so as a coach, what I try to give to my students is that look, look to the side, you know. Look our academy. Look how many champions you have. You are one of them, you know. So you have to believe in it, you know. And as you believe, the only thing that you're going to face is the other technique. But your school is better. Your skills are better. So you have a, you know, all the conditions to win. So it's up to you. So if the guys has the will to be a champion, they will be. I think we, we should keep in, you know, the, the way that we are working. Is we are moving with many issues inside the team. To, to, to give our affiliates a, a, a better product, uh, not just in terms of uh, branding, but also in terms of methodology. We are always working, there's something working process, always to, to make it better, you know, to understand the student better. And uh, I think that's, the, that's one of the biggest difference that we see uh, we fought our schools.